Hey everyone, welcome back to Share Story Corner. Today, Spike is back with us again. He's probably been on Share Story Corner about five times, I think. And we will be continuing reading from a little spot of emotion box set. And I think the world needs a lot of love right now, so I think I'm going to read A Little Spot of Love, written and illustrated by Diane Albert. A Little Spot of Love. To my children, Ryan and Anna, you grow my love spot every day. Everyone needs to be loved. What grows a love spot? Hi, I'm a little spot of love. I am the feeling you get when you care about someone or when someone cares a lot about you. I come from a lot of feelings and emotions, peaceful, confidence, and happiness. And I can get pretty big, but that's okay because you never can have too much love. And everyone needs to be loved. When your love spot is big, you feel great about yourself and you treat people better. That's why I want to show you all the ways you can grow a love spot. Let's start with words. Words are very powerful. Saying how you feel or saying something nice can help someone feel loved. I love you. Compliments can grow a love spot. You are smart. You have a great smile. Sometimes it's hard to say how you feel, and it's easier to write it out. Getting a surprise note or letter can help someone feel loved. Writing can grow a love spot. Words can also help you love who you are, too. Confidence can help grow a love spot. Today is a new day. I will have a great start. I will listen to the voice inside my heart. I will let good thoughts inside my mind and tell myself, I am brave, I am loving, I am kind. On Diane Albers' website, you can print this quote like I printed mine and I put it on my bathroom mirror and it's a great way to start a day with this quote. In addition to using words, actions are another way to show you care. When you take the time to do something for someone else, it makes them feel loved. Kindness can grow a love spot. I'll help you clean up. Spending quality time with someone can make them happy and show them that they are important. To show someone focused attention, make sure your eyes are watching, your hands are still, your mouth is closed. Listening can grow a love spot. There are times when it's fun to be silly and giggly with someone too. You can play a game or just hang out. Friendship can grow a love spot. Take time to find things you enjoy too. Finding your peaceful spot can help you grow your own love spot. Receiving something from the heart can help someone feel appreciated. Gifts can grow a love spot. I made this for you. There are many ways to show affection when you when growing a love spot. Hugs can grow a love spot. High fives can grow a love spot. Fist bumps can grow a love spot. Weaving can grow a love spot. Giving a thumbs up can grow a love spot. Now that you have seen all the ways you can grow a love spot, it's important to know that everyone likes to be loved differently. For example, some people like hugs and some would rather a high five. So I would love to know, what is your favorite way to grow your love spot? Words, compliments, saying I love you. Actions, listening, helping, being kind. Quality time. Playing games, reading, listening. Gifts, art creations, crafts, affection, hugs, high fives, fist bumps, thumbs up. My favorite way to grow my love spot is probably hugging Spike. <laughs> Not too much. Um, playing with Murray outside can grow a love spot. Um, and just hugging my mom and dad makes me grow a love spot. Who grew your love spot today? Words, compliments, saying I love you. Actions, listening, helping, being kind. Quality time, playing games, reading, listening. Gifts, art creation, crafts, affection, hugs, high fives, fist bumps, and thumbs ups. Do you grow a love spot today? Words, compliments, saying I love you. Actions, listening, helping, being kind. Quality time, playing games, reading, listening. Gifts, art creation, crafts, affection, hugs, high fives, fist bumps, and thumbs up. How would you like to be greeted? High five, fist bump, wave, thumbs up. I like to be gre greeted with, uh, during this pandemic, uh, maybe a wave or a thumbs up. Um, 
but if we weren't in this pandemic, I'd love a high five or a hug. The end. I thought that was a really good book, right, Spike? Oh, he is very pushy. He wants his joke already. Okay, Spike, we'll read you a joke then. Why can't you give a girl called Elsa a balloon? Because she will let it go. Get it? So bye. See you next time on Cheer Story Corner. Thank you.